Hey there, I'm Amgris. I'm from the bathroom. And, <laughs> and uh, this is me uh, gathering and uh, gathering things uh, for my trip. My trip to one of the most beautiful places in Russia. The, the one and only Altai, Republic of Altai. And uh, I've been looking forward to this trip for years. Uh, because I know that it's so beautiful out there. Uh, let's hope that the trip will go as planned and we'll see a lot of uh, natural beauties because that's the main thing that you can see there. So I will film a vlog out there and uh, I hope it will be epic. Probably a long footage as well, but uh, you will see it in a minute. So stay tuned and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. airport so that we have to walk uh, to the airport from the plane literally like walk <laughs> breakfast on the go will be like but just uh, took a stop uh, here uh, because it's, it's amazing, come on, it's Altai, it's, uh, it's really beautiful. Um, just look around. <laughs> I guess there is uh, some kind of tradition about these ribbons, uh, like uh, putting them for good luck. Like you remember in my video about uh, Lake Baikal, uh, our guide told us about uh, uh, those ribbons that you should uh, put them on a special pole, not just real trees. Uh, but here it's uh, probably close to that tradition, but unfortunately I don't know. So if you know, let me know in the comments below. tell you this but it's just uh, amazing it's spectacular it's uh, breathtaking it's uh, gorgeous it's marvelous I don't know any more synonyms but it's really really beautiful here and this is uh, the river Katun uh, one of the main rivers of Altai and uh, look at how blue it is and it's it's I guess so clean uh, and uh, people do drink uh, water from it so you can see it's uh, 
It's great. <laughs> yes, I, t I told you that I will use this uh, so many times. about also just the those vast spaces uh, of uh, just uh, hills of rocks of uh, mountains and it's uh, it's breathtaking Right now we are going to uh, Geyserne Lake, uh, Geyser Lake, uh, Geyserne Ozera. A little bit confusing Russian and English words right now. Uh, they say it's uh, really beautiful blue and uh, some particles, uh, some sand and uh, some uh, some things from the uh, bottom of this lake. Uh, it uh, gets uh, taken up, basically, uh, by the geyser and uh, now it looks uh, like bubbling and uh, um, and nice let's have a look and uh, let's have a look what's going on around us I guess a lot of people just want to come back here. Do you see these coins? Here it is. You probably wonder, if it's a geyser, uh, then probably it's hot. Let's see. Hope I won't be all wet after this. Nah, it's pretty cold. <laughs> and they heard so that it's uh, not exactly a geyser, it's uh, some other waters coming from uh, the bottom of the lake, so it's not, it's not hot like a geyser. But still, nice place to visit in Altai. All the people that we meet uh, here uh, look like they're really prepared. They're wearing like uh, uh, suits, uh, like winter jumpsuits, or how are they called? Like uh, like onesies, but winter onesies. I'm not sure about the naming. Uh, they are all wearing like proper boots, uh, have uh, thermoses, uh, basically prepared for everything. And we are like walking around the neighborhood, <laughs> look, walking around the uh, sides. Uh, I'm wearing heels. I'm wearing my uh, just uh, the jacket that I wear in Moscow and uh, not prepared at all, but uh, still it worked in Baikal and it works right now. <laughs> That's our house for the following night. Staircase leading somewhere up there. Okay, I see where the light turns off, turns on. Oh, it's a pretty proper bed over here. It's actually nicer than I thought. Cool. So for the nice uh, evening, Okay guys, 
Here's the question. Uh, we've got some keys. And uh, the problem is that we have no keyhole. Nothing's here. Nothing's there. What shall we do? I was just walking from the bathroom and I see the cow near our fireplace. Um, really wild, wild nature. Did you see it? Do you see it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> I, I've seen a lot of cows, sheep, uh, etc. Uh, near uh, the roads, but it's just walking like a dog. <laughs> hey! It's a tiny cow. Hello, guy. <laughs> guys and let me show you what's uh, going on around uh, because uh, later at night it uh, was just impossible to see anything uh, we woke up and saw the river out of our uh, tiny cottage here it is uh, behind me and uh, let me give you a tour so once again this is our house so the bedroom is upstairs here is sort of the living room uh, it was quite warm and here is the mountain river that's our fireplace that we used yesterday and that's the beautiful river so that's where we had our dinner last time And that's uh, the washroom and our car. Uh, basically, that's it. But it's really nice here. We came to one of the main insights, uh, points of attraction uh, in Altai. Uh, this is called Mars. And uh, yeah, you can see the uh, Mars Walker uh, and uh, basically that's uh, some rocks that uh, look like Mars. Uh, we will climb up there and uh, see for ourselves how it looks like from there. And uh, there is also one Mars uh, that is uh, like uh, one hour walk from here. Uh, we are still arguing whether we are going there or not. Uh, I'm voting for not going <laughs> because we don't have the time, but uh, we'll see. Uh, and um, have a look at uh, what's going on here. decided that uh, now we are hers or she is ours, uh, one of the two, and uh, she keeps uh, following us. And it's off-road of Altai. It definitely looks like Switzerland. And this looks like Mongolia. This 
is the village uh, called Chagan Uzun, uh, and that's the street called uh, called Centralne. That means the central street, and. Uh, Yes, that's how the central street in Russian villages uh, look like and uh, that's actually the uh, village that uh, you enter from uh, you enter from this village uh, to Mars. Lunch at the canteen. Do you agree that it looks pretty great? And it costs one point five dollars. place I want to tell you the story of yesterday the story of our uh, dinner um, basically uh, what happened uh, we were cooking uh, grilling uh, like um, sausages uh, like Bavarian sausages uh, uh, on uh, barbecue and um, uh, while we were finishing one portion and uh, preparing another one and uh, preparing mushrooms and doing this and that uh, we uh, ended up uh, leaving uh, the plates uh, with uh, those sausages on the table and uh, then we stood uh, near the fireplace and uh, basically we're checking out how it's going and uh, when we returned the sausages were gone <laughs> all our dinner was gone uh, nearly nearly all of our dinner was gone uh, because uh, basically there was the uh, dog there and uh, she decided that uh, she needs the sausages more than we do or something like that uh, but basically we lost our dinner yesterday it was such a picturesque place and uh, fireplace uh, grilled sausages but uh, we managed to try just several of them and uh, the rest was just uh, some food for the dog um, and she also uh, stole a fork actually no idea why uh, but yeah here is the story of yesterday in this uh, really spectacular place So we arrived at our apartment in Gornaltaisk. Uh, we will stay here for three days and uh, let's have a room tour. So here is the bedroom and here is the bed, <laughs> basically that's it. Uh, then we have uh, this uh, spacious hall, very weird uh, planning of the apartment. Then we have the kitchen and let's see the view. Uh, okay, we'll have a look at it tomorrow, I guess. Oh, we have the bathtub, bathtub. What else, what else? And the washroom. Basically, that's it. Everything that uh, one might need. And it's really warm here. That's also cool. It's officially our third day in uh, Altai and uh, now we are heading from Gorn Altaisk uh, to uh, Mancharok and to some sites that are in about uh, 40 kilometers distance from Gorn Altaisk and uh, it's really foggy today and uh, we are going to see some uh, observation decks and uh, I don't think we will be able to observe anything but uh, we'll see you uh, because 
because the one of the sites uh, should be really interesting in such weather. Uh, and uh, later I also want to tell you some uh, thoughts about the accommodation that we stayed in. Uh, but basically everything is fine, just some uh, couple of drawbacks uh, still there. So that's it, uh, heading for the new day in Bornonte. And actually it reminds me of something, uh, can you guess what it is when you pay with a coin for the uh, boat transfer? Um, I hope that we will survive after this, uh, so yeah, that's a weird uh, comparison. Kamushlinsky waterfall. Let's come closer. So many flies. So okay, I wanted to tell you the story about this fountain. Actually, it's the legend, not just the story. And uh, the legend was uh, the following. Basically, there was uh, this leader of the tribe, and uh, he had his uh, daughter that was really beautiful, and, she, and he decided that uh, basically he need to save him her. So many flies. <laughs> save her. And um, he put her into the house, made uh, guards uh, guard her. <laughs> I'm trying to uh, say the story without uh, without ends. It's not counting, and it's pretty difficult. So the guards were guarding her. The tribe leader had uh, his own uh, guard uh, who was uh, really powerful, uh, mighty, etc. He was uh, a companion of this uh, leader, but eventually he got uh, really uh, beaten up and uh, wounded. So 
So he, this leader decided that uh, this uh, guard should guard his daughter, but he didn't know that uh, the daughter and this uh, guard uh, were in love and uh, they uh, were secretly in love and they were dating. They, uh, the guard uh, basically, the leader basically was really disappointed with the guard and he uh, threw him off the cliff and later the girl uh, threw herself down the cliff as well after this guard so here is the waterfall <laughs> but actually this waterfall is man-made so this is just a legend that has uh, nothing um, behind it so we got uh, to Kamishlinsky waterfall by uh, the boat and decided to go uh, by the forest track uh, back uh, to the nice bridge that I will show you later and uh, it's a walk of nearly three kilometers through the forest, quite nice. It's actually the private bridge called Tsarska Hota, the Tsar's Hunt, and uh, it's, uh, it's really beautiful here. Do you know the story that uh, uh, once an army was uh, marching on the uh, bridge, uh, on the hanging bridge, and uh, they were going like leg by leg, I don't know the proper English word, uh, but uh, basically the bridge uh, fell because it uh, shook uh, and uh, it uh, basically all the people fell and uh, since then people don't... Uh, People mustn't and uh, armies mustn't uh, march uh, leg by leg uh, when they are going on the uh, hanging bridge. The meat of marau, uh, it's the deer, it's some local cuisine. Let's try it. Traveling on the cableway uh, in Manjarok, that's the um, resort area uh, with um, snow skiing at, at winter, with uh, other activities all year round. And uh, basically, that's a really long cableway that costs 500 rubles both ways, that's also important, and it's about seven dollars. That seems really cheap, but in rubles it's uh, it's, it's still okay. It, it's still okay, and it's uh, pretty beautiful here. Somehow here is a tradition to buy uh, in this place uh, to buy coffee with pine nuts. Uh, we must do this, uh, so that's why we will do this, obviously. I couldn't resist. What? Fortune cookies. Let's see what's going on here. Mm -hmm. 
The life should be full, full filled. Life should be filled with books which are filled with life. Philosophic. Here are several thoughts on uh, on the rest uh, on Altai in Altai. Basically, if you want uh, to get uh, high quality service, uh, really great service, it's not the place, and uh, you just have to uh, deal with it. Don't expect uh, to get much, and you will be really amazed uh, with uh, everything that's going on around. So. It's uh, hard to find uh, uh, in the woods uh, a proper accommodation with uh, hot water, with uh, all the necessary equipment, let's put it like this, but it will be in a very spectacular place and uh, with a view of the uh, mountain river, for example. So the view just makes it work somehow. Moreover, uh, you don't try to expect some fancy food because uh, you have canteens here, you have uh, some cafes with uh, you know, local food, but uh, it's uh, not very easy to find local food when it's not the season. Right now we are here in October, in the middle of October, and uh, a lot of cafes, a lot of uh, markets are closed uh, because uh, uh, most of the touristic flow is over uh, till next summer. That's why there are not a lot of attractions right now working, but uh, the main ones are the nature, and uh, nature is always open for you in, in different weather. And by the way, the weather is uh, today and these days is just fine. It's just wonderful. Basically, you can come here in the winter, you can come here in summer or in the autumn like we did. So just, uh, it's worth visiting. That's uh, I'm sure of. This sign says that uh, cow's pasture is prohibited and they even have a bell over here. That's cute. That's logical because uh, that's the resort. Here no cows are allowed, although uh, in the wild there are a lot of cows, sheep, horses and obviously they can't walk them here. Remember the cableway that we took? We traveled over, over there. This was nice. I'm totally out of breath, but we've made it two kilometers up the hills, uh, about 250 meters up, but it felt like a thousand. And here we are at the sunset, freaking romantics, uh, at the sunset, at the really beautiful spot, uh, at the observing deck, at the basically uh, top of one of the mountains and uh, let's have a look around, shall we?
that is the rock called Chart of Palettes, the thumb of the devil. They say it looks like uh, the thumb, but I don't see it. But still, it's really beautiful here. Technically, right now we are walking uh, on the territory of Altaisky Krai. That's uh, the different uh, region of Russia uh, that is close to Altai and uh, the uh, border between them is the river that is over there. I've shown you that. So one more region in our list. Yay! When we were driving to Chort of Palets, to this rock, uh, we saw some um, babushkas <laughs> selling apples uh, on the highway and we thought that on the way back we will be able to buy them because they say that Altai apples are really wonderful we needed to try them uh, but unfortunately we were driving uh, too late it is uh, 7 p.m. and pretty dark for these places it's really late but finally we uh, were crossing this point when they, where they were and they are still there so we are buying some apples Trying more local cuisine. That's grayling with farin, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, uh, because uh, I heard about this um, fish just yesterday. <laughs> Let's have a try. All the time it's either dark or foggy, foggy but uh, now we can see the mountains and some fog as well. It's still here. National Museum of Altai. They say there is the mummy of the princess, uh, but it will be closed today, unfortunately. Th this is the map of the Republic of Altai. And uh, let's have a look. So, that's Gorn Altaisk, where we are right now. And uh, that's Joyski Tract, the road, the highway that we drove. And this is Aktash, the village where we stayed. And uh, Mars is somewhere here, here I think. And this one we also saw, Jiketaman, also quite nice. Traditions of burial in Altai, I mean ancient traditions of burial, obviously. So we have uh, the person uh, in the wooden coffin. We have some food, uh, some uh, necklaces, some jewelry, and also we have uh, horses that are buried in the same burial hole. And yes, here we see several horses. One, two, three, four, I guess, five. So that's quite an important person, I guess. Here lies the mummy of uh, Princess of Ugok, of Ugok Plato. And uh, today uh, she is... Uh, <laughs> she's not open. Uh, the, this uh, coffin is not open because uh, it's opening just on the... You know, just on special days. The rising of uh, sun or the basically some, something related to the sun or moon, some uh, moon calendar and uh, that's why it's not open today, unfortunately, but they say that uh, it uh, can bring unhappiness to people. Walking around 
around Gorno Altaisk. That's the town in uh, Republic of Altai, and it's the only town in Republic of Altai, it's just uh, the capital as well. The rest of the places are just villages and uh, some uh, small uh, place where people live. An interesting fact about Republic of uh, Gorno Altaisk, uh, of, of Altai, is that it's the second uh, poorest uh, region in Russia. But still people uh, <laughs> live here and still people uh, have jobs here. Actually, the first person that we met uh, today in Gordon Altaisk and we talked with him a little bit, uh, he owns uh, quite an expensive car. So maybe place, this place is not as poor as it seems to be. Nowadays, tourists uh, do come into this region and uh, they uh, tend to spend uh, a lot of money here. I think uh, things are going better, are getting better here because of this touristic flow. But right now it's uh, kind of an end of the season, so we definitely need to come back here uh, in um, summer. Because in summer it's great weather, you have a lot of touristic attractions, uh, some entertainments, etc. But right now you can see the nature and a lot of flies, but uh, basically nature is uh, great in any kind of the weather. So, yes. The electricity is uh, really expensive in uh, Gornaltaisk and in the uh, Republic of Altai because they don't uh, produce it, uh, they buy it from other regions. That's why it's so expensive. And uh, the whole city of uh, the whole town of Gornaltaisk is pretty dimmed, so all the public lightings are dimmed. But there is one building that is really, really bright that's the town council or the mayor's office. And it's uh, really, really bright. They don't uh, save money. <laughs> they say, at least they say that. Just a piano in the park. In a pretty dark park. That's the central park, by the way. So tonight we are in one of the restaurants with uh, local cuisine and uh, we have uh, uh, local bread uh, doc I don't remember the name Wait a second, I will get the menu So I got the menu uh, We have borsov That's the local bread uh, in the form of uh, like bowls uh, We have a salad uh, with the uh, with paprnik It's uh, if I remember it correctly. <laughs> and we also have uh, some uh, meat uh, from uh, maral, that's the deer. Uh, we have uh, horse meat, we have the meat of uh, um, mutton and, uh, and the goat as well. So really a lot of local food and I I like local cuisine, I think it's uh, something that you definitely want to try in your uh, trips. Have you got any questions about Russia? Leave them in the comments below. Subscribe to this channel, hit the bell notification button and uh, subscribe to my other social media. Follow me there, links in the description below. See ya!